Hey, this is Gil Sharon, and I am currently out on the road playing drums for Marilyn Manson. I started playing the drums when I was about 12 and a half, almost basically 13, and uh, drums kind of found me. I always felt music internally and started with other instruments when I was younger, but nothing really stuck. One day I went to this dude's house and his older brother had a drum set and it didn't have a throne and I wanted to play it so bad, so I, I leaned against the wall and just kind of propped myself so I can sit and just started playing time. And that was it. That was the day that I knew. It was the feeling that I had. And, and I, just, I just knew I wanted to keep doing it and get a drum set. So I begged my parents. And then, you know, for our 13th birthday, I have a twin brother. So he got a bass and a guitar and I got a drum set. And the rest is history. I've been playing Zildjian cymbals since day one. Around 2006 is when I filled in for Travis Barker with Plus 44, and I flew out last minute, played all of Travis's gear, and he had killer cymbals, and they were prototypes. One of, I remember, one of the cymbals was his ride, and it was what became the 24-inch K light ride, and I was just in love with it. And as soon as I got home from that tour, called Kirsten up and was like, hey, can we meet up? Want to come check out some cymbals at the West Coast office? And just started using them on a bunch of sessions. The first session I grabbed them for was for the Pussifer record. And then I did the Dillinger Escape Plan record. And that was when it was just became official that I was a Zildjian artist, which has been amazing. much stay kind of traditional to jazz cymbals. That's my taste as a player. I like the feel and sound and touch of jazz cymbals. So I use a lot of Constantinopoles, so I use a lot of Ks, K lights. When I do more rock and kind of heavier styles, I'll throw in some A customs. I actually just started using with Manson this A custom projection crash, which I love. And this setup right here is pretty versatile. There's a few different chinas, a 24 inch A medium ride, 2K chinas, a 17 and a 19 hybrid. I love this uh, trash smash. I actually have one of the original prototypes of this symbol and I was just begging, please make this symbol go into production because this thing's amazing and I'm sure the general public would love to have something like this. And then this ultra hammer china uh, is my latest addition of my Manson setup. I have two sets of hi-hats. My main hats over here are the 16-inch K lights. And on my right, I have 15-inch K lights. And they, they balance each other out. I kind of keep those static. They're either open or closed. I don't have them on a remote. This setup's perfect for this, especially this gig. It's just they cut through the guitars and they're very dynamic. I, I like cymbals that, you know, we can play at a softer volume and just grow because Manson really loves these songs to build, especially the new songs off the new record I'm on, The Pale Emperor. There's like the studio versions and now these live versions. When we play them live, they've already taken on kind of a life of their own, a, a live life. So they rock a little more, I lay into them a little more, play a little more with them. And these cymbals are just, just perfect for what, what I hear them my kit to sound like so that's pretty much my abbreviated history with Zildjian